The Lyford Key Club is the latest organization donating to the National Hurricane Relief Fund. Today, executives of the club, led by its chairman, Mr. David Laughlin, presented a check to Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie. The check was handed over to members of the National Relief Fund, established by government to manage hurricane donations. It's a pleasure for me to give you this check on behalf of all the members of the Lyford Key Club. And uh, <clears throat> We, we as a membership obviously are intricately uh, involved in what goes on here in this country and, and of course we uh, are following on with a major gift that was made by the Lifer Key Foundation uh, and this is an initial gift of $25,000 I'd like to present to you. Just as you heard Mr. Laughlin say this is an initial um, contribution, recognizing that there would be a continuing interest in what's happening with respect to restoration. Um, I just want to give you an example. In places like Long Island and places like Crooked Island, where the runways were flooded, um, I would ex expect the committee, in terms of uh, as it does its work, to be able to be looking at these islands in a way to provide the maximum long-term protection in terms of their ideas and their connection um, for the people of the affected area, and in so doing, create a model for us on how we deal with other islands. Government estimates that it will take at least $60 million to rebuild those southern communities damaged by the storm. Hurricane Relief Fund Committee member Gowan Bo thanked the Life for Key Club for the donation. It is um, with great on and distinction that we, we um, express our gratitude um, on behalf of the committee. We know that the islands have a tremendous amount of work to be done and that will require a tremendous amount of resources. And when we see um, elements like a social club that see the needs of the citizens in some of our southern islands uh, pool together and, and contribute, it demonstrates that us as a country and as a people um, really draw the best out of individuals. And we have to keep our minds focused on the task at hand. Tremendous responsibility. There is an element of transparency, accountability, but more importantly, there's an element of sustainability and development. And from that perspective, there's an awesome task um, in front of us. The International Labor Organization and the National Congress of Trade Unions Bahamas wrapped up a three-day workshop yesterday on national tripartite social dialogue. The event highlighted important issues on the labor front as legislation for a national tripartite council was recently enacted. ILO senior specialist Paula Robinson says they wanted members of the council to explore and understand what the establishment of the council will require from government, trade unions and employers. Participants are leaving with a deeper understanding of how important social dialogue will be in terms of national development and improving situations within the economy as well as the um, labor relations and the workforce at the workplace. And they will also understand that they have to work together and get their organizations behind the National Tripartite Council. Participants and members of the Council identify transparency and communication as key issues that must be polished before moving forward. You know, you talk about consultation and that sort of stuff, and then persons' acts are enacted, mm -hmm. and you never hear, you know, what went behind it. This workshop was definitely to teach us how to begin that process of transparency. We have a lot of problems, a lot of issues, because we don't know how to communicate with each other. So if we could get our communication down pack, we're on the right track. We're still in the, in the infancy of, of the National Tripartite Council, mm -hmm. and we all have to learn how we're going to make this develop very well so that, and in fact, we're going to help the national development of the country. Mm -hmm. We're opening, you know, it helps us to learn how to open up our dialogue how to work better together um, and, and assist each other so that we can move this country forward. 